Multi-axis roughing is a new operation subtype recommended for five-axis roughing of complex shapes. Levels are cut by offsetting from a dry floor or ceiling or by interpolating between the two. You may use ball, bullnose, or flat end mills. You must specify the dry floor. The dry floor must be a single face and may be located below, inside, or above the volume to be removed. Here, you can see the specified number of cuts offset from the floor. Like the drive floor, the drive ceiling is defined by a single face. A drive ceiling is required when the depth mode is set to offset from ceiling or interpolate between ceiling and floor. Notice how the cut levels morph as the tool cuts from the flat ceiling to the contoured floor when the depth mode is set to interpolate between ceiling and floor. Containment loops may be specified to limit the cut area. Here, you can clearly see, when using a single cut level, how a containment loop defined by the top edge of the part limits the cut area. Available cut types are follow part and adaptive. Adaptive creates a pattern that conforms to the shape of the cut area, maintaining a constant cutter engagement with the material rather than being based on a specific cut pattern or cut direction. Adaptive may be used with a zig or zigzag cut pattern. Bottom-up cutting recuts the tapered walls between levels from the bottom up. This ensures that the uncut stock is minimal, consistent, and evenly distributed, helping to stabilize cutting tool performance during semi-finish and finishing operations. After last level leaves the bottom-up cutting to the end. Between cut levels, cuts intermediate levels from the bottom up after cutting each main level. The intermediate range type lets you specify the number of intermediate levels in terms of number of cuts or cut depth. 